Good day, library friends. This is Miss Claudia from the Downey Library, and I really miss you. And so today we're going to do another online story time. So let's do our uh, opening song. If you're happy to be here, clap your hands. If you're happy to be here, clap your hands. If you're happy to be here, then put a smile here. If you're happy to be here, clap your hands. Okay. Now, you're not going to believe this, but the next book I'm reading you is, it's called Elephants Can Paint. Did you know that elephants can paint? I didn't until I read this book. I was really surprised. And the book is by uh, Katja um, Arnold. And Elephants Can Paint. I teach in two schools, one school in the city and the other city in the jungle. Have you ever heard of a teacher teaching in the jungle? And some of my students have hands. Do you see the hands there? And some of my students have trunks because they're elephants. And some of my students eat grass. And some of my students eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And all of my students love cookies, the elephants and the kids. And they all like to be with their friends. The kids like to be with their friends and the elephants like to be with their friends. It's time for art class. Now, first they have to learn how to um, hold a brush. And uh, so look at the elephant. He's holding a brush this way he, with his trunk. Do you see that? Or he can hold it this way, with it right in the top of his trunk. And then the kids, they hold it with their hands, okay? Now let's paint. Look at the kids are painting and look at the elephant. And he has the brush in his trunk. Can you see that? And look, the students like to paint dots. So look, the, the kids are painting a dot picture and the elephant is painting a dot picture. Oh, the, boy, they both look pretty good, don't they? And the students like to uh, paint bright colors, both of them. This is the the, uh, st the child student, and this is the elephant student. Wow! Both of the students can paint. This is the child's uh, painting, and this is the elephant's flowers. Do you know how long it took this elephant to learn how to make these flowers? Three years! Three years, but he made them. And Everyone has their own style. Do you see how everyone makes things different? And anything can happen when the teacher leaves the room. Look at the child, his hands are completely painted. And look at the elephant, he's all messed up too. And then look at the elephant. They have to wash the elephant's feet and they have to get between his toes, which are pretty hard to do. And look at the elephant. <laughs> That's his rear end there. He's getting into the water trying to get cleaned up. It's a funny picture. And our class is over. All students can paint and be proud of their picture. So look at the little boy, how proud he is of his picture. And then look at the elephant. He's so proud of his picture too. So now you learned something today. Elephants can paint. And our next story is going to be for the little ones. Okay, where's Spot? And I wanted to tell you, like when you're at home and there's not a lot to do, it's fun to paint. And so that's something that you could do. And then today it's like hide and seek. So that's another thing you could do at home. So Spot the uh, Where's Spot by Eric Keel. This one's a, 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 a lift up book, so I know how you like those. Okay, that Spot, he hasn't eaten his supper. Where can he be? Is he behind the door? Let's see. 
Oh, look who's behind the door. A bear's behind the door. Is he inside the clock? Whoa. No, look, a snake is inside the clock. Oh, I hope not in my clock. Is he in the piano? Let's take a look. No, look who's in the piano, a hippopotamus. <laughs> is he under the stairs? Well, let's take a look. No, the lion's under the stairs. Is he in the closet? Oh, we have to open both doors. No, a monkey eating a banana is in the closet. Is he under the bed? Oh, that'd be a good place for him to hide. No, there's an alligator under the bed. Oh, wow. Well. Is he in the box? Oh, that might be a good place. No, no, no. There's three birds saying, no, we're not Spot. There, Spot. He's under the rug. Let's take a look. No, that's not Spot. That's a turtle. And here's a basket. Oh, there's Spot. He's in a nice, cozy little basket. Good boy, Spot. Now he's back and he's eating his dinner. So there you go. This is one of the favorite ch um, um, small children's books we have at the library. Okay, now. We have one more book. This one where, is where you need to do, do a little moving. So I think you need to stand up for this book. This is a new book. And we have another one that you like a lot by this author. Well, she, you have lots, we have lots of books that we like. But there's another one, a Hooray for Fish, that we learn our numbers from. And then this one's Hooray for Birds. And it's by Lucy Cousins. Hooray for birds. Can you imagine just one day you're a busy bird? Yes, a bird, hooray. Would you like to try to be a bird today? It would be fun, it would be something different to do. The sun is up, the sky is blue. Wake up and shout, cock-a-doodle-doo. Can you shout cock-a-doodle-doo? Because that's what the roosters do. Flap your wings and you can fly higher and higher in the sky. So you could pretend that you're flapping your wings and they're flying higher in the sky. And then you have some birds hop so you can hop, hop, hop. So go ahead and hop if you're standing up and taking part here. Now swim along and stretch your neck. Oh, really stretch it big. Yeah, we have to stretch our neck. And say, hello, darling. That's a parrot. They say whatever you say. And then swoop like a starling, so you can swoop up and down, up and down. And then swoop up, and then swoop around and round and round. So you could turn in circles. Um, scratch the ground with your feet. You can get your toes and scratch them. And catch a fly with your beak. Please don't catch a fly, but you could pretend you're going to catch a fly. Okay, no flies eating. Stand very tall on just one leg. That's the flamingos. They like to stand on one leg. Try it, I bet you could do it. Say cluck, cluck, and lay an egg. Now you can't lay an egg in my opinion, but you can say cluck, cluck. And catch a wiggly snake. And stretch out your wings nice and big. And open your beak and sing, tra la 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 And then open your beak and go, tweet, 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 tweet. And then open your beak and go, hum, 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 hum. <laughs> and then do cheep, 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 cheep. See, you can make all kinds of different bird noises. And then you can waddle like a penguin. Waddle like a penguin in the snow. And then run like an ostrich. Go, 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 go. You can run in place if you're just standing there. And then show off your tail and puff out your chest like the peacocks do. 
They love showing off their tail because their tail's so beautiful. And then cuddle up close to mama in the nest. See, that's what birds like to do too. What a busy bird you've been. The funniest one I've ever seen. You began the day. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Now say goodnight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And that's the end of Hooray for Birds. Did you like that one? That's the first time I've read this book. Okay, now we're going to read, do our closing song. And you know the song. <clears throat> I like you, there's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. You're my library friends. One more time faster. I like you, there's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. You're my library friends. Thank you for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Miss you, bye-bye.